Hi guys. I know a lot of you are active on Instagram and a question that comes up a lot is how to display your Instagram feed on your WordPress website. So in today's video, I'm going to show you an easy way to get that Instagram feed live on your WordPress website. So let's go. Here I have my WordPress website demo site all pulled up. And the first thing we're going to do is head over to our dashboard. In order to display your Instagram feed on your WordPress website, all we need to do is install a plugin. And so we're gonna head over to plugins, add new. The plugin that we want to install is called Instagram feed. So we're going to hit install now and activate. And then you'll see over on the left-hand side that the Instagram feed plugin has a link. So we'll click on that and then it pops up and it's really pretty simple to configure. So it walks you through the steps. The first thing we'll do is hit the connect an Instagram account. And this will open up our Instagram login page. Once your Instagram account has been connected, you'll see it show up here on the page. If you want to have your settings remain the same, if, in case you need to disable the plugin, you will wanna click the preserve settings and plugin is removed button. Just go ahead and click yes and be sure to save your changes before you go to the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I like to configure the feed on my website. For general, I'll hit 100% and the height of the feed, I want it to be 250. Let's try that. And the background color for now, let's just leave it, let's just leave it white for now. And you can pick the number of photos. I'm gonna go with, Um, I'm going to go with nine. So I think I want it to be full width here. Columns nine. I'm going to try and have it go. I want to have it appear just across in one row and I'd want them to be next to each other with no padding. So I'm going to click zero there and on mobile. Yes. I'm going to disable the mobile layout because otherwise on mobile, it will just be a whole bunch of pictures scrolling down and I don't want that right now. Okay, and we wanna sort the photos by newest to oldest and let's go ahead and detect, auto detect resolution, that's what's recommended. And I'm going to disable the feed header and the bio text for now and click save changes to that. Once you are finished choosing your customizations for the Instagram feed, go ahead and be sure to click save, save changes. And we'll head over to display your feed. There are a lot of short codes to choose from here and you can customize it really to however fits your needs. To keep it simple, the basic short code is Instagram dash feed. So you can copy that there. But as you can see, as we scroll down, there are just a lot of ways that you can configure it. Um, so it's really customizable to your needs. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna head back over to our homepage and let's find a nice little place to put this. And I think what we'll do is let's add it down below the footer. I'm using a page builder called Beaver Builder and it's really handy, drag and drop. So I'm going to scroll down to the area where I want to add the Instagram feed and I'm going to add a new row all the way down to there. I want my row to be full width and the content, I want the Instagram feed to go full width. So I'm clicking on width, full width and content width, full width and the height for now, I'm going to leave that as default. And I'm not gonna do any more customizations other than that, but I do want zero padding because I want the pictures just to look nice along the bottom here. So I'll click save on that row. Next, I'm going to add 
the short code. So I'm just going to use my little text editor button here and drag and drop that. And this is where I'll copy and paste the Instagram feed. Now, keep in mind, if you're using the classic editor or Gutenberg editor, you'll just take your short code and copy and paste it in the spot where you want the Instagram feed to appear. I'm going to click save. Let's publish that and take a look and see what it looks like. Once you've installed the free version, there are a lot of features available on the pro version if you want to upgrade as well. And I'll have a link for that. But I encourage you to take a look at this plugin and play around with the different settings to come up with one that fits your needs and looks great on your website. Thank you so much for joining me today on this video. I hope you found it useful and are able to go put your Instagram feed on your WordPress website today. Feel free to play around with the different customizations to make the feed on your website all your own. So leave me a comment below if you have any questions and send me a link to those Instagram feeds. I'd love to see them. Hey guys, my name is Jennifer Franklin and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. Each week, I'll bring you a brand new video. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment below. See you later.